all has been well since I started running. Uh, it's now 10 years. I've been doing well. I've been participating in world championships, Olympics. I missed one Olympics and one, championship, one world championship for last year. But the rest I've been there. There are so many challenges and there are so many things actually yeah, that can make athletes in life to be tough or hard. But I can specify one as in the worst thing is uh, injury. There is no way you can avoid injury. Injury, you can even get injury anywhere. Even walking, you can just step on somewhere and get it. So long as you are an athlete, injuries must, should come on the way. And so long as you are training, you can get injuries along the way. It started like two months ago when I was training in Kapsobet. That's the time I was preparing for my build-ups. And I was doing my work out there. And I did some sprints and I, I pulled the, the tendon. And that's the time actually I started this problem. So I've been nursing this injury for the last two months. I've been doing therapy like twice a day for the last two months. And it reached a point that I could see it was like 80%. But uh, unfortunately for the last one week, when I go back for the track just to test for the, uh, if it's improving, that's the time now it gets worse again. So, but actually the therapy has been good. I've been working with my officials here. We have been doing well. I can't do it uh, with, without a physiotherapy. After track, I need a physiotherapy to make my muscles relaxed. With my problem now, I have, I'm injured. I need my physio to be there most of the time so that I progress in my program. Without those guys, they, we cannot. We cannot do anything. We cannot. Because they are doing a lot. But when it comes to celebration, we don't recognize those people like we, they, they really did something that really changed life of athletes. So I think it's a high time to recognize those people and um, to be known that without them, we cannot do anything. Last year, I went to Italy. I treat there. But it wasn't the same problem. This is a different one. But for this one, I can say I, I've been only treating here with my officials here. And I've never gone outside, of which I was to take my time before traveling back to Italy, maybe to see for treatment. The only difference outside there is the kind of machines they use, like scan. Mm, I, I, I believe they are well uh, advanced because. That's the only difference I can see, of course. I, do, I don't see any big difference, because visuals, having visuals there and having visuals here, they are all the same. But the only difference is the, the machines that they are using outside there. That's the only thing, to find out what the problem is. But to treat, we can even treat back here again. I did my workout before time, because I was doing my build-ups, and I rushed into that program. So the challenge is, uh, or the, the cause of this injury is, uh, um, you can go to the track when you are not ready. So there are so many things that you have to do it before before doing other 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 programs, like pre preparation for the build-ups, doing long runs, doing hill walks, and everything before you go to the track. But you'll find an athlete doing um, going to the track without having that uh, build-ups in, in in a lot. So 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 that it can happen when you react, the body or the muscles, the muscles can react before getting ready to, the, to that kind of speed. If all will go well, I was planning to start in New York. Of which until now I'm not confirmed because this injury is on and off, on and off. So I can't say I'll be coming when. So the first thing is to treat my my leg. Then thereafter I'll, I'll get ready for some races later in maybe July. Missing even one dam on in, 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 in a year or missing uh, one event that can bring a lot of uh, changes in, 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 your, in your career in terms of, I mean, economy and everything. Like me, last year, I did like only three events in the year and I normally do like uh, 10 events in a year. So you can see that kind of difference. So it really make a big difference in my economy and everything in my life. Initially, according to my life program, I was planning like maybe I do 800 for the last for 10 years and then thereafter I'll shift for 1500 or something else longer. So this is my 10 year in doing 800. So I've never thought of moving out of this uh, 
this career, this is my career. And uh, I was thinking of doing other things after 800, like going for 1500. Thereafter, even to earn in, to do something like road race, like 10k, of which I can, I can do it because me, I normally do long runs. I've been working hard, running up and down, going for therapies here. I went back to Kenyatta, hoping that all will, will be well, so that I finish my 10, 800 in the van, in the truck, and then thereafter I'll go for 1500. So I, I don't I, I always say never die. So I have to fight until the end, of course. I'm still young and I can still do it. <laughs>